In this video, we will look at variation problems and how we can calculate the constant of variation with the information given in the problem. It is important to first know what type of variation we're working with so we can set up an equation to model the situation. In this video, we will look at all three types of variation and how we can set those equations up. In this first problem, w is directly proportional to y. The key phrase here is directly proportional. When we see directly proportional, we know we need to divide the variables, w by y, to equal our constant. This constant is what we're looking for in this video. We can find it using the other information given to us in the problem. When w equals 50, y equals 5. Place the w with 50 and the y with 5. 50 divided by 5 will equal our constant. 10 is our constant. That means as w and y change in this situation described, that constant k will always be 10. w will always be 10 times y. Let's look at this next example and see if we can find the constant of variation again. Here, it says c varies indirectly as d. Indirectly tells us we're going to multiply the two variables to get our constant. We multiply c times d and that will equal our constant. This constant is what we're looking for. We find that constant with the other information. We're told that c equals 4.5 when d equals 6. So we'll replace the c with 4.5 and we'll replace the d with 6 and that will equal our constant. Simply multiplying 6 times 4.5, we get 27. This means our constant for this problem is 27. In other words, no matter how we change c and d in this situation described, when we multiply them, the answer should always be 27. One other type of variation we looked at was joint variation or jointly proportional. Let's see if we can find a jointly proportional constant. Here we see the key phrase that tells us our equation that x is jointly proportional to y and z. We recall the formula for jointly proportional is we take the first variable, x, and divide by the two variables that it is jointly proportional to, y and z. That will equal our constant for the problem. This constant is what we're looking for in this video and we can find it by using the other information given to us. That x equals 48 when y is 2 and z is 4. So we'll replace the x with 48, replace the y with 2 and the z with 4. Order of operations ask us to multiply in the denominator first, giving us 48 over 8, which reduces to 6. In this problem, 6 is the constant of variation. In other words, if we take x and divide by the product of y and z, regardless of how they change in this situation described, you will always get 6 for a solution. Once we find the constant of variation, we'll be able to solve and predict different results in the situation described. We find the constant by identifying the equation and plugging in the known values.